jockey box. Family mystery is exciting, fast paced. It's um it's great so far. Hopefully I thought I told you not to way. speak to me. Oh my gosh. Listen, uh, I don't know what you thought you saw, but that woman was already dead when I found her. Don't take me for a fool. I want to be reasonable with her, but she's being so difficult. You are a fool. No, okay. If you, if you just thought about it, you wouldn't think that. If I had actually, if I actually had killed that woman, don't you think I'd have tried to stop you or at least run away? Instead, I waited around and even spoke with that detective. She doesn't respond. Really? You're gonna discount me just like that? Come on, don't be like that, lady. Fine, I'll bite. What's your side of the story? Okay, I already told you. I found her like that. That's nice. Now don't talk to me. See, because you were still dishonest with her. You, you didn't tell her why you were touching her. You don't believe me. Sure don't. If you can actually show me proof, then maybe I'll listen to you. Show her your psychic powers. Yourself, <laughs> Detective Gursky approaches us with a hint of a smile on his lips. It's hard to tell if he's actually amused or hi just hiding his annoyance. He wanted to talk to me. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak with him. Sure. Do as you please. She shrugs and walks away. I follow Detective Gursky off to the side. I'm sure talking with your main accuser was really a good idea. I didn't realize she was my accuser. What? You do realize that she's convinced you're the murderer, right? Or is she the murderer? Acting like that only makes you look more suspicious. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, well... And I have to be honest, a lot of the evidence points towards you already. Like what? You were the first at the scene, and you even admitted to touching the body. There's not much that votes for your innocence. Uh, but all the evidence you have is only circumstantial. Bitch. I can hold you for 48 hours before charging you with a crime. That's enough time to find more evidence. Uh, sometimes I hate the law. I know, but I didn't do it. If you really want me to believe you, you're going to have to be a lot more cooperative. Right, I should tell you, like, my name, for instance, right? Obviously, you're interested in clearing your name, whatever it may be. It works better if you work with me, not against me. True. You want my help? He frowns. Not particularly, but I don't have many options right now. Let me touch the body. I sit this out like the professional sentence, but then you just go behind my back. True. I'd rather have you where I can keep an eye on you. So I'll let you talk around, but you have to tell me everything you learn. And for the record, this isn't a free pass to conduct your own investigation. I'm only saying you can talk with the others. Okay. Got it. Got it. Well, looks like I have a little bit of slack for now. But even if he says that, it's not like he's given me any useful information to go off of. Um, hmm. Okay. There's three people to talk to here. Um, hmm. Should I talk to them again? I feel like I've already talked to them. This can't hurt to try. Let's talk. try talking to all three of them again before I leave the room. I'm, I'm really anxious to go see the body. Chance notices me looking at her. She giggles and waves at me. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, pretty good. You got changed. Yeah, I called my manager and he said I should close for the day. So there's really no point in wearing my uniform anymore. Right, okay. But never mind that. How did it go? Uh, I like your headphones. Uh, how did what go? Talking with that detective, of course. All oh, right. Did he say anything? You say he thinks I'm the killer. Nothing in particular. He just wanted me not to bother him. What do you mean by bothering him? Beats me. So... Did you notice anything suspicious about Kazaki? Did you notice anything suspicious about Miss Bergstrom? And conversation. Maybe I should have done the other option. Do you notice anything specific, suspicious about Kazaki? Hmm? Uh, the college kid. Oh, is that his name? I've never seen him before. Really? He said that he comes here all the time. He does? I'm pretty sure I haven't seen him before. 
Maybe he usually comes at some other time? Yeah, maybe. But I don't recall him doing anything weird. He came in, set up, and spent all his time working on homework. Right. Did you notice anything suspicious about, suspicious about Miss Bergstrom? You mean that woman who looks like she's mad at you? Yep, her. Well, she definitely looked like she was in a hurry. And again, hmm. she always does. She comes here often? All the time. And she always looks like she's in a hurry. I guess she's a busy woman. What should I ask her? Do you know what Miss Bergstrom does for a living? I'm pretty sure she works for Biodev Imaging. It's just down the street, so a lot of people who work there like to come by here. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know exactly what she does, though. Hmm, I guess we should end this conversation. I guess that's all I want to talk about for now. Alright. Um... Okay, now we talk to the witness. Miss Bergstrom is still across the room from me, brooding. Oh boy, this isn't going to be easy. She wasn't willing to give me the benefit of the doubt earlier at all. I approached her carefully, holding my hands out in an attempt to show that I mean her no harm. Hey. What do you want? Um, I just want to talk, try to figure out what happened. She doesn't look convinced. Look, there are other people here. Nothing's going to happen to you. I just want to ask a few questions. Why are you even doing this? Because, um, I don't know. I'm psychic. I want to find the killer. After a moment of silence, she lets out a long sigh. I guess it's okay then. What do you want to know? Um... Did you... Did you notice anything suspicious about Chance? That barista? She's a sweet girl, if not a little unrealistic. She'll talk about her dream of being a singer to anyone who will listen. She often gets livid when anyone says anything that doesn't coincide with her dream. But she's very cheerful otherwise. Livid? She once tossed hot coffee at a customer for insulting her voice. I think the voice acting is not that strong. It definitely sounds like say your voice acting to me. Like like American dub like like uh uh American dubbing on an anime. Which I, I consider I consider those voice actors I don't know, the, the, they have like a strange way of speaking that, that uh doesn't sound natural to me. He only got a few burns on his arm, but I'm pretty sure she was aiming for his face. But I still I still find their voices sort of melodic. Uh, there's something positive I could say about that that style of voice acting, uh, and um, you know it, it's uh, it's working for me here. She didn't get fired for that. The whole thing was settled out of court, and the owner of this place is her father. So naturally, she got to keep her job. Yeah. Honestly, kids these days just get everything handed to them on a silver platter. It's wholly frustrating. Do you notice anything suspicious about Kazaki? I assume you mean that boy over there? He hasn't done anything that seems out of the ordinary. I can't really say one way or another, though. That's all I need to know. For now. Good to know. Okay. Okay, talk to Chance again and ask her about the, the the coffee incident. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. I look over at Kasaki. He's still typing away at his computer. I guess even being at the scene of a murder isn't an excuse to turn in homework late. Is everything okay? 
Yeah, it's fine. It looked like Detective Gursky was lecturing you about something. He's a pretty imposing guy. No, yeah, he's a cop. Is he? Seems like he's just doing his job. I guess I'm just worried he's gonna arrest me or something. Arrest him? This kid is paranoid. Or he's hiding something. Relax, he just won't arrest you. Is there a reason to arrest you? What? No, no of course not. not. I was just saying. His face flushes red, and he's terribly embarrassed even thinking about being arrested. He must be one of those good kids who always uh, follows the rules and never gets in trouble. Enviable. Is that what you said? Enviable? I, mean, I think I might have misread the last word. What should I ask him? You know, I think he's suspicious about Chance. The girl who works here? She wouldn't do anything. Are you sure? Of course. She works here after all. That didn't answer my question. Well, if you're wondering if I saw her do anything weird, I didn't. She was cleaning the espresso machines for a while. She didn't look too happy about that. I think she might have trouble stabbing somebody to death and then going back to work. Went to the back kitchen, so I didn't see her anymore. Hmm, that could have been when she murdered the person. If she were in the kitchen, she should, could have gone to the bathroom without you seeing her, right? I... Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Did you notice anything suspicious about Miss Bergstrom? I'm afraid I didn't see her come in. I was busy working at the time. I didn't notice anything until I heard a scream. End the conversation there. It's all for now. Okay. Time to move. Hallway or stay here? I guess we go to the hallway. As I head toward the hallway, I can hear Detective Gersky speaking on the phone with someone. According to her ID badge, her name is Sarah Blackmore. She works for a nearby company called Biodeck Inc. Aha! The same company as the woman who who identified me. Biodev Imaging, isn't that where Miss Bergstrom works? I wonder if they knew each other. I peer around the corner to get a better look. He doesn't look very pleased. I really can't be sure. When will the crime scene investigators get down here? I see. Well, get here as soon as possible. He hangs up before letting out a frustrated sigh. As he does, he sees me looking at him. Well, how long have you been there? Uh, not long. How much of that conversation did you hear? Um, not much. Um, the part about Sarah and Biodev Im Imaging. So, pretty much everything, then. I guess so. And do you have anything useful to tell me? Um... Miss Bergstrom works for Biodev Im Dev Imaging. The chance that she saw Sarah come in around 2 o'clock, we'll start with that. No, we'll start with the Im Im Biodev Im Imaging. Chance told me that a lot of people who work there like to come here to eat. Do you know what Miss Bergstrom does at Biodev Imaging? No. It probably wouldn't hurt to ask her. Okay, I'll give that a try. Chances she saw Sarah coming around too. Interesting. So Sarah must have been killed sometime between 2 o'clock and 2.40. The first thing to do is see if anyone has an alibi for that time period. Kazaki says he comes here all the time, but Chance claims she's never seen him. Do you think he's lying? I don't know. He seems honest, though. But he could be very well be pretending. Why don't you test him, then? If he really comes here often, he'll be able to answer questions about this place without any problems. Right, I guess so. Chance has some pretty explosive anger issues. She tried to blind a guy, burn a guy with uh, hot coffee once because he insulted her voice. Really? I'd hate to be that guy. Still, one act of violence doesn't make her a murderer. It might be worth looking into it, though, if you can find a way to be tactful about it. Seems like Chance probably killed her. She probably told Chance that she sucked at singing and refused to help her with her career with the, by, by doing biodef imaging stuff. And then Chance murdered her. I don't even have more I can tell you. I like Chance though, she seems sweet. I don't want to believe she's a murderer. Hmm. Examine room. There are a couple of trendy paintings hanging on the wall. 
The only other thing in the hallway are me and Detective Grisky. The detective is a suspect too. We should ask him what he was doing here. Yeah, it won't let me. It won't let me interrogate the detective, but he should be just as much a, a suspect as the rest of us. I don't really have more I can tell you. Okay, let's move to the ladies' restroom. I don't think I'm allowed in there with the dead body, but I need to. Okay, um, men's restroom. It looks like the women's restroom, well, except for the dead body. Hmm, I bet the killer could have slipped out through here without being seen by anyone in the coffee shop. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, I can't, I can't go to the women's restroom, which is my main reason for getting me out here. Too bad. I head back to the main area to investigate some more, but as I do, I hear a strange echoing through the hallway. You should really watch your step. What? Who are you? I spin around looking for the source of the voice, but I don't see anyone talking or even looking in my direction. But before you ask, I can't hear you, so don't bother trying to say it. The voice seems to be coming from inside my head. Yeah, but if you can't hear me, that makes communication rather difficult. Of course, now, if doesn't I can't it? hear you, that makes communication rather difficult. Right, I just... Mm, never mind. I know you're different from other people. You can see things that others can't. That means we're alike. Oh, cool. Alike? Yeah, right. I don't go around randomly speaking inside of other people's heads. There's a lot more going on here than just a simple murder. Watch your step. And trust no one. I'll tell you more as soon as I know it. Okay. I wait for a second, but the whole voice is gone. No one seems to have heard it, so I guess it really was all in my head. Ugh, this is getting more troublesome by the minute. First I'm accused of murder, and now some random person is dropping thoughts in my head. Or, hey, maybe I'm just going crazy. I should probably be a lot more surprised or freaked out by this turn of events. But the only thing that surprises me right now is how unsurprised I am. I shuffle back into the main area of the coffee shop and sit down, burying my head in my hands. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Really? You've been looking terrible all day. Oh, right. Let me get you something Thank you. Do. Okay. Chance hurries around the counter and begins mixing a drink for me. I lean back and take in the smell of the coffee. It's really relaxing. She hands me a hot cup. Cu Brimming with full of hot latte. I take a sip of it and my body suddenly feels alive again. Mmm, the smell of the steam. I seriously doubt I'd be able to function without this stuff. I take another sip and then another, enjoying the flavor and the heat. I feel like I can finally think. Yes, I'm addicted. That was good. And you made it so quickly. Of course I did. Sometimes things get really busy in here. That counter is designed with everything we need to mix drinks quickly. Of course, if you want to do other things like make sandwiches, that's all in the back kitchen. Chance looks pretty happy right now. Maybe this is a good time to ask her about that one guy who insulted her. So, did you really throw hot coffee at a guy for insulting your singing voice? Hmm, let's give it a shot. Trophy and straight to the point. That jerk was just flaunting his new girlfriend in my face. Is that your ex or something? New girlfriend. My ex boyfriend broke up with me here at work by bringing his new girlfriend here and telling me we were over. He Damn. said he didn't want to be with someone who had such unrealistic dreams. Either way, that was a long time ago, and unlike the rumors, it has nothing to do with him insulting my singing voice. Wow, sorry about that. It's fine. It all worked out in the end. Anyway, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Okay. So maybe this woman upset her in some way, but I don't know. Do you have any more questions for her? 
What were you doing between 2 and 2.40? Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? Working, of course. Afternoons like this are always slow, so it's usually just me and the manager. She says she's working between 2 and 2.40. Of course. Fair enough. That isn't, of course. I'll be right back in one minute. I'm back. Although my manager is currently out at the store. Why did your manager go to the store? We ran out of soy milk. I forgot to restock yesterday and he kind of got mad at me. I had to hmm. come out here and clean all the espresso machines as punishment. Okay. Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? <coughs> I'm really bad with names. Even if I did know her, I probably couldn't tell you. Um, okay, that's it. I guess that's all I want to talk about for now. Alright. Okay. I want to know if she knew Sarah Blackmore, but we can just go down the list. What were you doing between 2 and 2.40? Hmm. Around 2, I think I was finishing up some work in the office. Then I headed out for a late lunch. I usually grab a sandwich and an espresso from this place. Were you with anyone else at the time? Of course not. Everyone else had already left for lunch. What did you order when you got Nothing. here? I went straight to the restroom, and then I saw you. Hmm. Why did you head straight to the bathroom instead of ordering? I always wash my hands first. It's filthy to do anything else. And I can't exactly afford to be ill. Um, what do you do for a living? Why do you want to know? Uh, why do you think? I'm just curious. Well, I do a lot of things. Mostly human resources management. Where? Human resources as in? The usual things. Recruiting new blood, organizing and training employees, writing policies, and the like. Wow, that's a lot. Um, that's why she's so busy. Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? I can't say I do. Should I? She works in the same place as you. Yeah, that's suspicious. That's all I need to, for now. Good to know. Okay. What were you doing between 2 and 2.40? Um, studying, mostly. Here? I was also chatting with a friend online. Sometimes I get distracted. Do you really come here that often? Of course I do. Why do you ask? Um, no reason. Just curious. About this place. Do you know what kind of sandwiches they sell here? They rotate them. The two for today are tapenade with avocado and turkey and brie. Wow. I see. And how much does a green tea cost? A shaken green iced tea or a green tea smoothie? Well, uh, either. The shaken green iced tea is only $2.65. But the green tea smoothie is three dollars and seventy cents. Yeah, thanks. <coughs> wow, this guy knows the place pretty well. Almost uncannily so. I guess he really does come here often. I wonder why Chance doesn't recognize him. Is he in the disguise? Do you know anyone named Sarah Blackmore? S Sarah? Uh -uh. Oh shit. No, I don't think I do. Wow, that's quite possibly the most guilty reaction I've ever seen. This guy would be terrible at poker. End conversation. That's all for now. Cool. Well, I think we've done everything we can here. Guess we'll go, go talk to the cop again. Mm -hmm. 
Nope, not in here. Be more interesting if, if you, you could, uh, if it would open up more conversation items after you talk around. Oops, I actually looked at the sandwiches and the top of nuts and the avocado. I try something. Holly. So I've been everywhere, right? Yeah. Let's talk copper. Did you know there's an emergency exit in the men's room? Yeah, I noticed that. There isn't an alarm on the door either, so it's possible that the murderer escaped through there without being detected. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If the murderer did go through, he or she was probably the last person to pass through. It's possible that there was some evidence left behind him. Um... No one here has a full alibi. Chance and Kazaki both saw each other for a while, but Chance was in the back kitchen around the time of the murder. She could have slipped away without being seen, or Kazaki could have gone past the kitchen without her noticing. Miss Bergstrom claims that she was working at that time, but there's no way to corroborate her story. Hmm. So all of them had an opportunity. And you, what you had an opportunity to too. We need to figure out why someone would want Sarah dead in the first place. Miss Bergstrom was really evasive about her job. When I asked her about it, she didn't want to tell me much about it. She did say she's a human resources though. Is that so? I suppose she's pretty high up on the totem pole. Then. I think Sarah was just a secretary with low level clearance, so it's doubtful they'd have met. Maybe Still, they didn't. It's definitely something worth keeping in mind. Ask around and see if anyone knows anything about biodev imaging. Good idea. I mean, probably could have done that by myself without talking to you first. Chance only got violent because the guy was her ex boyfriend. Turns out she threw hot coffee at him because he broke up with her. Makes a lot more sense than just attacking some random guy. But that doesn't change the fact that she has anger issues. Plus, things aren't exactly looking up for her right now. What do you mean? I examined the knife in Sarah's chest. It's an industry-grade kitchen knife, and it's part of the set. I'm willing to bet that the rest of the set is in the kitchen here. Oh, shit. You're saying that Chance is the one who killed Sarah? No, I'm saying that whoever stabbed Sarah had access to the kitchen at some point. Sounds like Chance. Why? Do you think she did it? Maybe. I doubt she had anything to do with this. Well, it's possible she did it. It's possible that she did it. But even though it's possible, I really can't really think of a good reason why she'd do it. If you can find a motive, then you'll be getting somewhere. Um... No one here recognizes the name Sarah Blackmore. Well, naturally, the killer is going to deny knowing her. But if no one here seems to recognize her, she probably didn't want to be known. I wonder what she was hiding. What should I tell him? I should tell him that our conversation is at an end. I don't really have more I can tell you. I see. I need to go to the, um, to the women's ladies' restroom. I don't think I'm allowed to end there with a dead body. Why not? Okay. I look under the counter and dig around through the trash. Hmm. There's a lot of duct tape here. In here. It looks like a bit of red paint. Stuck to one of the pieces. At least, I think it's red paint. There's also a brown smudge on it. Huh. Duct tape, huh? What does that mean? Could be blood, right? Blood on the piece and a brown smudge. What about brown smudge? Coffee. I'd better not touch any of this. If I leave my fingerprints on it, I'm sunk.
Hey, detective. Great voice in my in my head is back. You have the most freedom out of everyone. See if you can get a better look at the corpse. You might find something useful. I want to. Easy for you to say. Somehow I doubt Grisky will just let me waltz in there. I'll try to set up a distraction for you. Great a distraction. Like what? Blowing stuff up with your mind? Before I can think any more on the subject, a loud crash echoes from the coffee shop. What happened? I don't know. It sounds like pretty serious, though. Great. Just what I need. Wow. Thanks, random voice. Guess I owe you for this one. Detective Gursky is currently in the main area because of that crash. If I move fast, I can probably get a quick peek at the crime scene again. I definitely don't have enough time to read the death. But I can still check the body for clues. Hmm. There's a tan line on Sarah's wrist. Looks like she was wearing a watch or a bracelet or something. Or a duct tape. It seems unlikely. Maybe it came off when she was struggling against her attacker. Okay. Um. So that's it. I look around the room some more, but I can't find any sign of whatever was on Sarah's wrist. The bathroom looks clean, and there are no signs of struggle at all. Weird. I certainly wouldn't just let someone stab me in the front without putting up some sort of fight. Don't forget she was probably suffocated first. The duct tape, right? The duct tape... She... she the duct tape was used to suffocate her. She was brought in here or something. I really shouldn't stay in here any longer. Well, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, nothing? I tried to give you some leeway, but now you're poking around the crime scene in secret. But I'm your friend. I'm sorry, kid, but if you can't cooperate, then I don't have much of a choice. I'm taking you into custody. No. Detective Grisky pulls out a pair of handcuffs from his back pocket and snaps them on my wrist. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Just tell him you have psychic powers. That's not my fault. Okay, I, I have to I do all that again. To me. So, all right, let's get. Mm. He just wanted me to tell him if I learned anything from talking with you. What did you tell him? Nothing really. It's not like you said you were a killer or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, I wanted to get, try that option out, but it uh, didn't, didn't turn out to be useful. This is not taking too long. He looks confused. Nothing? Detective Gershie's threat to keep me in custody for 48 hours is still looming over my head. I'm still on a short leash. According to her... This is taking a while.
Um, Found a lot of duct tape in the garbage can in the men's room. I just want to move forward a little bit, so I want to like do some things that I don't want to just be skipping dialogue. I want to also be doing some things that I haven't done yet. Duct tape? Yep, a whole bunch of it. Like someone used it and dumped it here. Hmm. Perhaps the killer used it to restrain Sarah. Yep. And suffocated her. I don't really have more I can tell you. Um, main area. I heard I head back to the investigate some more, but as I do, I hear a strange voice echoing through the hallway. You should really watch your step. Look at the glass case for fresh green sandwiches. Sure enough, the two specials are the tapenade and avocado and turkey and brie. Kazaki was right. This is all just the same conversation options we had before. No one has a full alibi. First trip's evasive about his job. Chance's ex boyfriend. Doubt she had anything to do with this. It's possible she did. No one here recognizes the name Sarah Blackmore. End conversation. Keep digging. Hey, detective. Okay, so once I do this, I gotta leave. I better save too. I oh, won't let me save right now, but that's fine. It won't let me save still. Oh, I made it clean. Whatever happened was enough of a distraction, I guess. 
Still, it bothers me that my mysterious benefactor seems to know what I'm up to, but only some of the time. If it were someone in here with me, then all my movements would be readily obvious. But it seems more like someone who's getting regular reports on what I've been doing. Someone inside the coffee shop must be communicating with someone on the outside. I need to figure out who it is. Could be the um or could be the guy the guy who is um who's on his computer, obviously. I guess I have to keep an eye out for someone who's communicating with the outside world frequently. Oh, well, that's obviously you. the college student. Well, possibly. There is the girl with her headphones, but yeah, it seems like the college student would be the obvious one. Kazaki. Hey! Something wrong? No. Nothing? I was just. or I should save. Alright. No, it won't let me save. Damn it. No, nothing. I was just trying to stay out of the way in case something bad happened. What's that loud noise anyway? It's just an accident. I see. An accident, huh? I wonder what caused it. Can I save now? Oh, I have to go here to save. That's it, right? Make sure you want to overwrite your current save. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, I should get going. Okay, obviously this guy. But let's let's go down the list first. What do you know about biodev imaging? I think they have something to do with medical stuff, but I'm not sure. I think I should save the video clip here. Yeah. 